In this video, we're going to take a look at the alignment options for tables in Word 2019. In our alignment group here, we've got nine options for aligning things in a cell, and they basically correspond to the three horizontal options and the three vertical options. Three times three is nine. Uh, we can change the direction in a cell, and we can change the margins in a cell. So let's take a look at those options. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm going to take the entire table here. And I'm going to make the rows even a little bit taller than they are. Right now they're about half an inch. Okay. Now we're just going to go through these options here. This is going to be top left. And they're all lower right right now. Uh, the reason, except for this one, the reason for that is in a previous video I changed the alignment of this. And in a previous video I also got rid of the space after for these. But this one you see still has some space after. So I'm going to take this entire row. And I'm going to go to my layout tab and I'm going to say space after is going to be zero. And now everything has zero space above, zero space below. So when we start aligning things, uh, we should be able to get them right up against the edges for everything except when we put it in the middle center. So top left, everything goes to the top left. There's a little bit of an edge there. It doesn't go right up against uh, the blue line, but it gets close. We're going to do top center. We're going to do top right, and we're going to move it down to the middle, but on the left side, and then the middle in the center, and then the middle on the right side, and then the bottom on the left, the bottom in the center, and the bottom on the right. And we can rotate our text in a word table. You've got two options other than the default. Uh, let's go up here and we can uh, rotate it to the right 90 degrees. We can uh, rotate it to the left 90 degrees or we can just choose normal orientation. So uh, notice when you do that uh, that the alignment here changes as well. So after you rotate the text you may have to go in and make some adjustments here. Okay let's go back and we'll just put everything in the cell and we will now let's left align everything in the cell. Okay, so everything is close to the left edge here, but it's not actually touching the border. There's a little bit of space in there, and that's what this cell margins button is for. So let's click on cell margins here, and you'll see that by default uh, there's a top margin of zero and a left margin of eight hundredths of an inch. And up here we went by tenths of an inch, down here we go by hundredths of an inch. And I'm going to decrease this to zero and click on OK. And when you do that, now there is almost zero space between the text and the border. It looks like there may be a couple of pixels, but that's what you get when you reduce it to zero. Let's go back up here and let's uh, increase this to... So we'll make it a quarter of an inch and then we'll click on OK. So now we get a quarter of an inch on each side. The furthest I can go, this is left aligned. The furthest I can go is to the edge of that margin there, which we said was going to be a quarter of an inch. And I can do the same thing. Let's go to the top left here. Right now, um, there is a little bit of space above every uh, letter. And if we go here to our cell margins and on the top, uh, right now it's zero. That's what you get for zero. Uh, every uh, character has a little bit of space uh, all the way around it, top, bop, top, bottom, left, and right. But I'm going to increase this. Let's do a tenth of an inch and click on OK. And now everything moves down a little bit. So you can see when I highlight the text, the gray ends here and the distance between the top of the gray and the border here uh, is a tenth of an inch. There's another option here as well, and that is allow spacing between the cells. So this refers to inside the cells. This is between the cells. I'm going to turn that on and we're going to change this to a tenth of an inch. Then we're going to click on OK. We get something like that. So if, if that's the look that you're going for, the way that you get that is by adding space in between the cells rather than the what is called the cell margins. So that's spacing between rather than the margins within the cells.